different way though and show us something new so i'll be excited to see that if it is the case but it's gonna be victor nice good call yeah so victor is the champion a nice sort of well-rounded mid laner yeah. you can certainly see him go buy a bit buy an abyssal scepter actually take um looking to check this out and that reset could cost them a little I bit here finish it they're pretty low though they gotta get out of there okay they're gonna spite it and it is gonna go to raven now shrimp's gonna run away he's low in health goes right back in what clg but the first blood comes through as a special drops to smithy the chase comes through as keen gets one stick they flash over the wall to retreat but now apex on the other side of the map they stepped on a cupcake you know looking for the play jumps over the wall the flash to follow on to ray takes a shark to the face and darshan moves it around to the side now looking for the stun on this one ray still running out a flash knockup into the stun from darshan two flashes burned for it, but it's gonna be enough there's clg picking up a kill Darshan getting a gank for Smithy and getting a kill. Yeah. This is going to be the battle for the dragon. A nice smite comes through. Smithy actually doesn't even smite. He just gets it anyway. An early smite by Shrimp happened. But it's Darshan taking a bunch of damage. He's got to ult out to stay alive. Flashes out instead. And a big burst damage out from Huey, but he's low as well. The, the shark comes around. Darshan does go down. And another kill comes through. That's two for Apex, actually. CLG did get the Drake. And now we're looking at another play, though. It looks like... Ooh, Darshan gets arrowed in the face. No ultimate. In. This is so bad for Echo. He's going to drop just like he did 12 seconds ago. Is there an Echo in here or something? Because he's gone already. And now CLG running away from their own blue buff. 6A trying to zone him out. Smithy could try to smite this. And there is that Ash arrow. It's going to be taken by Smithy, though. I did see it go over. Uh, special's low. Three-man knockup. Flash knockup. They get a special. The Thrash is gone. Shrimp jumps over the wall. Bard ulti. Again, a Flash Force. That was... Wave. It's, it's certainly going to go down as as 6A is going to be able to poke away at that. So CLG kind of flexing their muscles, saying, you have to hard engage on us. And with Apollo not having that arrow, he can't do so. He's going to get oh, caught by the Bartle. I don't think it was actually good. Bartle's ulti here, but they're going to get enough damage, and they're going to get him down anyway. It all layers up just fine. 6A gets the execution kill, but it's now mid lane tier 2 under fire, and it's a 5v4. There's just not a lot of damage left here. Apex was forced to heal, and they have to flash away. Now the Shark on Darshan doing a bit of damage, but it still takes mid. It's not too much. Hooked out onto Expendi. Into the back lane goes Keen. What first four, but that's a bit too much for him to take, and he goes down. Who he gets the kill. A continued fight from CLG. Two picked off. Both carries are down. That passive from Spirit Visage is massive and just the extra HP. But here comes Smithy looking for the initiation. Oh, he couldn't quite land the oh. down. But that's a three man Bard ulti. Land at the stun. Get some damage across. But a nice lantern <clears throat> brings Apollo to safety. Now on the front side, Arrow hits Smithy. The Zonia's popped by Keen. In the back line, under Stixay. It's Ray looking for the kill. Trying to get him. And yeah, Stixay goes down. Apex to keep going. Ray will not die. A double for Shrimp. Make it a third kill coming through. And a triple for Shrimp. Four kills to nothing. What a great fight for Apex. It's, it's looking like it's going to be a free Baron. It looks a little bit free, although they're going to make him try to pay for it. Who he looks to fight Keen, but Keen pops Ghost and just chases right in. Who tries to predict the flash. Ooh. Can't quite do it properly either way, though. Who he gets out, loses the flash. And flash out. And that's that's a win alone. They pick up the turret. Uh, they get a summoner, but Keen may be caught here. Oh, Rage out of five at a time. Chip of the wall to jump on back. They still want Keen. He actually turns off the Raven form, and now Timber Fate's gonna land onto Shrimp. Do they have the kill? They're gonna try with the gravity while the trap is there. Shrimp should be dying. That's one. That's a shutdown. But in the back line, they go, and Afnu is dead. Ray making the work happen. Looking now for his sticks. who can't go anywhere. A double kill for the fist. Now with a dark shot. A hook on a Huhi, but he cleanses out. He's gonna be fine. The shark not gonna land either. Gravity well gonna buy him sometime, but no, Ray is still there. And now a triple for the fist. It's first three of the game. Apex smash. He's not gonna run out of mana, and Darshan is stuck away from home as Apex is looking to close in. Still looking to knock down Xmithy, who takes the tunnel, pops the locket shield, and... Oh! oh, yeah, there we go. Nice job, leads the target. Apollo makes sure it happens. Bullseye from they Apollo. Go. That is Afro missing an ultimate now. They're starting and up again. Reattempt 3,000 health. Darshan wants in for the fight. 1,000 HP, Smithy's there, and he gets it! Smithy secures the Baron, and Xmithy's down as well. Counter Logic Gaming are winning this fight, fight and looking for the battle. Keen jumps forward, pops the zone, he'll back up to half HP. Smithy zones out Apollo. Now watch the CLG frontline looking for Ray. He pops over the wall, and now it's Smithy dangerously low, but Counter Logic Gaming have kited out so far so Shrimp's good. Good. And Shrimp's gone, and Sticks, they take him out, looking for another one. Keen does not have Sonia's and Keen goes down. A double kill for the new AD carry on Counter Logic Gaming. And now Ray has Guardian Angel, but he has been surrounded. Darshan wants to do the damage. Smithy rejoins the fight as well. Looking for a bit of damage. Ray the will pop gets GA. On Apollo too. And the bop gets stopped on. Yep, Apollo's gone. Ray's gonna be next. They all miss time the GA, but that's a shutdown. It's an ace and a Baron's deer for CLG. A cat. Doesn't matter, but it's Apex trying to contest with still a gold lead as a team. 
3,000 health, another spike by coming through. Keen in the front line, and the back line is in a bunch of trouble after trying to run away. Darshan in the front as well, but it's first the Rampage as Keen pops the Zonius, and a two for one, though Ray is making it work in the backside. Looks for Stick, say he has the damage, yes he does. Plus 370 for him. Now Darshan kites back in, but he's suddenly realizing that he is very much alone as who he is dead, and Darshan is the only one alive for CLG. Three up for eight. Yeah, anyway, here we go. The Void Staff in that situation, but here we go. The rush for the Elder Dragon with two Mountain Drake buffs. They kill it pretty damn fast. Apex coming around, but it's not going to be in time. Nice pick up there for CLG, and they force the flash away thanks to Barley. That's two flashes used for Tempered Fate here. Can burn down this Baron quite literally, actually, and Apex are not here to stop it. Ray TP'd in, though. They definitely want to contest, but it's going to be too late. Baron on top of Dragon 5. Yeah, good luck with this one. Ray goes in a bit by himself, but here comes Keen. Oh, he almost gets evaporated, but he buys a lot of time and expense. gets rooted up. Ash over the back line. Sticks is getting shredded apart right now. Ray puts on the damage, but a nice flash kites out. Doesn't matter. Ray gets him. Smithy burning down the two for zero. Then it's advantage Apex despite the buffs. Ray continues forwards. He's still got Guardian Angel, and CLG can't kill him. The Magical Junior to get away, a stun on Array, almost pops G8, and they get that. So the Guardian Angel down, but still, CLG Force Draw has to flash away. So they are doing a good job kind of chipping away at this, trying to play it patiently. But yeah, Ray is low. He's going to go for the assassination on 6A. And they land a bunch of CC, but he gets that with a Quicksilver Sash. Keen pops Zonius, but they can go back in for him. And the Burst comes out. They blow up the bird man, but the turret's down. Bardo D forces several flashes. Special has to get out as well, but Xfinity wants him with Guardian Angel. He lands a lot of CC, and Xfinity a second casualty. There's a minion wave on CLG. He's Nexus, though, the opposite of game one of the finals. Apollo gets blasted, a triple kill for Darshan, but someone has to save the base before it's too late. Yeah. Ray getting chased down, will get slowed, pops the teleport, and he will get stunned up. So that's four for Counter Logic Gaming. Expect these back to keep the base alive. CLG are in no real risk, and that's now four kills. 35 seconds of some of the reach. Dying to Ray, yeah. and it's something that they're going to have to deal with, but they are starting up the Baron, and here comes Ray. 5,000 health on the Baron. Shrimp is in range. It's going to be spotted by Expecty conveniently. Keen to the back side of Stixay in the middle of enemy champions getting blasted right here, but Shrimp dropping as well. It's a cluster in this pit, and it's so far a kill onto Stixay. CLG loses one, they might lose a second. Guardian Angel pop, Aphru's dead after the Guardian Angel as well, and it's Darshan stuck in the middle of the team. Ray out of mana, but does it really matter? He's the tank keen, getting all the work done. Darshan's getting blasted, and he just barely survives. Ray loses Guardian Angel, but stays alive. Darshan running to the left, trying to buy a bit more time. Counter-Logic Gaming can maybe try to play the minion waves to, to stay alive a bit longer. Darshan regening with Ocean Drake, actually. It's actually a really big deal how much health he's getting back with this one. As long as he stays out of combat, he's getting massive amounts of health back. Now back to 1,000. He will eventually die, but it'll take even longer now as he runs away from Shrimp, gets blue spider, jumps to the minions, flashes away, still buying time. Darshan refused to go down, but the rest of Apex are inside the base trying to win against Counter Logic Gaming. It's a two versus three on the other side as Darshan buys time. But here comes Ray for the game-winning push. The arrow lands on the front line. They're trying to pick up Huhi, and they're going to do that. Apollo might be next up, but Ray is taking the turret, so Darshan's we should ignore the fact that Xmithy is there. Darshan, though, actually died. He didn't make it back. It's Apex trying to win the game. Xmithy picks up one. Ray hitting the turret, and he can't stop Xmithy. So they're now on to the Nexus, but... Five seconds on 6 they They're almost up. coming back, and so is Afmu. The game is not they're over. Xmithy is actually invincible, pushing the rest of them out of the base. CLG just squeaked. Squeaks by the skin of their teeth and the dragon. Does they CLG really can't get both. Do they have the confidence though? I mean, Smithy can steal this, and he's been um, on point with his smites. They're going They're to, to chase down Ray. It, it's Smithy. I think Smithy should leave and stay alive. He's getting caught oh, though. No. And Smithy's going to die, which still gives over Dragon. Yeah, they trade Smithy for for Ray, but that dragon was going to get taken regardless. That I don't think matters on a strip. I think he's going to live no matter what. He gets the lantern. I think it's a mistake by Smithy. on like that and, and try to just tunnel over and go for it. But he did not have a ward, so he couldn't. And now a special may be caught. Top CLG's going to go for, for it. Jungle, Look at the damage. The 4v4, and who he gets blown up, though. That's a huge mistake. And Darshan getting popped as well. Africa took the great hook by a special. And now the chase in. It's a two versus four. Counter Logic Gaming must run from this one. Stixay, got to step up. Look for Shrimp. He's going to do the damage as minion waves flood into CLG's base. All Apex has to do is buy the time. Stixay does not have flash. He can't go for the big play just yet. And Darshan losing health rapidly. Two versus four. Huge minion waves. Apex looking to win the game right now with the minions dragon are on the buff. Nexus. There's three super minions, and they may actually just finish this off if CLG can't get back right now. The Nexus is falling. It's down to, uh, you know, about half HP already. It's down to a third HP. I think this is the game for Apex. I think game one is going to go to the new guys on the block right here, making the points happen. Here comes a 4v2 push. Do they even have the damage? No, they don't. There's the Nexus going down. A game one. One win, a huge one, a slobber knocker for Apex.
What a game between these two guys. So, so close. Right down to the wire at CLG. It all comes down as a three-man squad in the middle. It's going to be hard to engage on them. And so Apex trying to head them off at the pass and just match up with all these situations. You've got a caster now to split push against who he's twisted fate. And that's both CLG are very focused on minion farm. Oh, Apollo's got to be careful. The Grop doing some damage. He burns Summoner heal. And now Smithy has actually popped Repel to get away. He flashes over, but a flash. Knock up by Expression. Looking for the kill. They're not quite going to get it. Look how low Alistair is. The first blood comes through for Counter Logic Gaming. He had no way out. And a gold card lands onto Apollo, who's missing Summoners as well. But CLG getting the first well, blood. But look at the attack move and the, the CC onto who he was getting really blown up right now. Not a 400 health ignite is on. He's going to go down. A nice turnaround by Apex. That turret dive fails miserably. Some serious disrespect by CLG there. You know, we just talked about it. Be real careful. He's low, low, low on health. Trip can't quite get the damage. Gets rooted up. But look at that. A flash combo in for Expecial to set up after move. He did not see that coming. And suddenly, Bullseye for Apex. Now a sudden array, though. He gets taken out as what well. cocoon from Smith. Several, yeah, sick cocoon, but several oversets by varying members. Long term. Towards Ravenous Hydra. And it's going to be a tough game for Ray if he ever has to match up. Oh, here we go. The play on the bot side, though. Keen has already burned Riftlock, but he flashes not yet. Nah, he's not going to be able to use it. Goes down. Who? He gets him with the card. And a kill comes through. That we are right now, though. 14 minutes into this game. It's CLG up 2,500. But Apex has come back from worse. Certainly, Darshan again looking for the battle on the rain. This time, Twist of Fate will join with the gold card locked. He dodges it. But Ray now getting a teleport join as well from Keen. And they turn right back in. Darshan nearly dead already. But who? He gets the kill first. Metal Lord's up that with that one. Darshan TPs to leave. And who? He now running for dear life. But Keen still takes him out. Oh, what levels at this time? Who? He was. See if he wants to go for it, and he Here does now onto Ray. How much can he dodge? He gets a little bit away, but he's definitely going to die for this one. A couple more auto attacks will do it. Who he gets another kill for himself. Darshan survives, and now it's up to the rest of CLG to not die to the push in for Apex. So he's not going to go for it, and Darshan, once again, just going to ignore Ray, start working away on that turret. Uh oh, this time around, the who he was over. I don't think he saw what was going on, but it looked like a flash cover from Expecial. Flash pull right headbutt into the turret, knock him down right there. Darshan now in a battle against Ray, but Ray Smithy's in a bad spot. I think he's likely to die here, but he's trying to juke everybody around. <laughs> repels up, repels down, but yes, they're on top of him. He's going to drop now. That is a kill picked up. Darshan's going to be on Apex. the inhibitor shortly, though, yep. and we have the tier two mid lane. Is out CLG looking to make a, what, three versus four play? Darshan, why did Keen even show up? He's not going to do anything. And look at how little health they have. Apex, just in a, in a terrible world of shot calling, going to lose maybe someone to Baron. No, Baron does get taken down. Shrimp gets it, but now Catalog to Gaming 1 and they're going for the Nexus. Onto Ray, onto a special, looking for more to get done. The turret's already been destroyed. Look at Counter Logic Gaming just knocking. Oh, the battle him. But now the shield comes in from Aphromoo. A combo by Special means actually a hell of a lot. Oh my god, he's already dead. There's a nice pickup by Apollo. Ray tanks the turret and walks out. A nice setup there. A good kill on Aphromoo. That's going to be in the outer turret. Yeah, great combo from a Special. A great follow up from Apollo. Drops the trap right on him. Pops Aphromoo like he was nothing. Trying was... to get a lot done here. Look at the damage up that they've got. And it's going to be another combo in towards who he. Look at the damage up. But Forcer flashed away. Special taking some of the damage. Lambs' fight will heal the team. They are back low, up. though. This could be bad. Six days going deep. How much can they really get done, though? Apollo Loba still alive. One kill picked up onto the Alistair. Another one on the back line as the AD carry drops two so far for CLG. A double as a third kill has been dropped. And Shrimp now forced to run. But Darshan is teleporting to join his minions on the right side of the map. Shrimp actually the only man alive right now Look as the CLG timers. wants to win the game yeah 30 seconds many of the reasons you're right no turret there makes it even easier but keep in mind the respawns are coming in keen can flank and ray can run really fast this is a small bit of a risk a special goes in finds the stun darshan nearly goes down but they get a special first and it's not quite the execute damage they finally get the kill support for top laner but again triple and him is definitely a big deal and there is the keen flank he wants in gets some damage but zonia's keeps who he alive cocoon is there and keen goes down a bad flank actually betrays himself Apex lose two for one. Keen, you know, he saw the low health bars. He wanted to finish them off, but he used his Zonias in that mid lane. For the top lane, minions to come in. There's so many supers there. The one Nexus turret remains between Counter Logic Gaming and Victory. Why didn't it close this one out and make it go to a game three? Special pops, the ulti pillar back around. Ulti's pops try to keep the teams alive, but it's CLG who are just simply unstoppable. The turret is down. They're going to go for the fight first, get the fantasy points, get the kills, and get themselves a secure victory. Three kills picked up without even blinking an eye, and that's going to be the game to win. CLG take care of business, working overtime, and making it a game three. Yeah, fantastic stuff from CLG across the board. The whole team pitching in. I mean, so much of the focus was on top lane with Darshan and who he really getting a lot of work done up there. But uh, I think he fits very well. I also think that 
Uh, the Victor W is pretty nice with Kindred All 2. You can drop down that in the middle of it. Uh, Chaos Storm over top of it. Uh, a lot of these AoE options synergize well. Similar boat of that 7% magic pen. So oh, Keen could be in trouble though. He's pretty far up. And he's been slowed down. He flashes, but I think they're still going to get reached there. Plenty of damage comes out. And yeah, it's going to be the kill coming in through four. X Smithy got the mark as well. A nice first blood. Spending time taking Rift Hero and taking Dragon and things like that. Oh, they're going to be taking Aphromoo on this one. There's the flash over, but he's going to get away from the Pulverize now. Put some damage across, but Stixay shoved across. It's still a trade kill on a Shrimp, but the flank did come through, and one was picked up. It's the bot lane already dead for CLG. Re-engaging now. Smithy flashed away after Lambs' fight times out. Expecial. Yeah, sadly for CLG players and going for sort of individual leads, individual advantages. Apex has routinely gone for Dragon, for Rift Hero, for the team-wide ones they can balloon elsewhere. But suddenly, Darshan trying to abuse that advantage, walks into an Alistair, and it means a kill goes through the Ray. Oh, and that is now a 2-0 Ray. And, and now Xpithy wanting to stop the Dragon hit, but suddenly there's an Alistair right on top of him. And Xpithy does not have Lamb to fight available, but he's going to kite around from Shrimp and get the first kill picked up. Now Special stuck inside the pit with him. And the stun's going to be enough. The revive comes through just to make sure all was well. It's a trade of junglers going back and forth from the yeah. double bomb, and it's... Here comes Ray from the top side, though. Well, be careful, because really. Fizz wants you, and it's going to be a dead who here on this one. Not really a chance to live. Maybe, actually, he does have it. The shield comes in. He survives the bomb. Who can block the block? Yeah, there we go. Six it gets it, and actually, Ray goes down, and some... TP, well, but doesn't I don't have ice board yet, so he has no slows. He gets a... a yeah, not gonna he's, this, he's not going to go anywhere. Keen won't even burn the ultimate cooldown, because he's too worried about that being down next time. He might need it. Another Mark of the Kinder goes through to a yeah, Smithy. Five. Flash away from the front of the other one. Next special could have easily followed up on that, but now more onto the two. He is just on the wrong side of this map getting insulted, and he can't get into the Kinder ulti. Smithy can't save him, so that's one kill picked up. And now it's really dangerous for CLG. Smithy trying to get over the wall, trying to get away from the team. It's still Darshan stuck in the front lines, getting wrecked. He's already dead. Smithy's going to be next up. Ray gets the third kill of the fight, and nearly a kill comes through Sticks. He almost takes down Shrimp, but now this is bad news. In the bottom of the red, red side bush, and he was looking... Uh -oh. Oh god, Six may get caught here as well, and he's gonna go down. That's gonna be a simple kill picked up for Ray, and that's the ace overall. They were still respawning, so five kills in a row for Apex. And looking to bring this game right back. And then he just kind of wanders through the jungle, expecting that they're not going to be there anymore. And now here comes Darshan, TPing in, trying to get something to happen. Yeah. But Darshan looking like he may go down. His death might be what's happening. Apollo takes one kill down, who he does manage to trade one back. But suddenly, it's going to be a one for two, special good kiting away. Uhi running fast thanks to the empowered Q. He's got the perfect hex score already. Darshan before. Pink word over the wall, but yeah, they can't really jump special. And that is 75 gold down the drain. If there's anything that shows just how much priority they're putting on this top laner, it's ridiculous that they're giving the blue uh -oh. buff. Uh-oh, Keen face check. Oh. No, he walked through a pink board. This is good Baron setup. That pink board is the reason that he died. And he thought that CLG was on Baron, but he face checks, dies before he can ult himself, and now there's no mid laner. It's special dangerously low pop zone ulti, and CLG disengaged to make sure they can flash, fight so five before. Dead. Yeah, special. I'm not even sure why he tried to do this, but it slowed down a few more seconds. So CLG do get two kills picked up, and now it's time to look at Baron. Yeah, they're kind of just milling around. The Baron's still shooting them, and they're not hitting the Baron. So Sixty actually lost half his health there. Four flashes and nothing else to save for themselves. Fight begins, and here we go, Darshan. A special on the front line. Who he attacked, jumps over the wall, survives the shark for this one. Ray bouncing back and forth. The gravity well gets him, but he still gets revived thanks to Keen. Now Ray's back up full health and jumps over the wall to stay completely safe. Re-engage back special, pops the ulti, but he's still got to respect the damage output that CLG could put on him. A huge double bomb, and Keen trying to set it up, but somehow Spinty keeps him alive for now. Here comes the reset as the heal comes through, but a double kill coming out. Ray's still going to survive. Two picked up for Apex. They've got map control. Oh, and Stixie whiffed on the ult. It was so close. If he hit Trim, or make sure it's happening, and then the other two head on down, and Stixie in who he can kill that fast. Baron, certainly worth more at this exact stage of the game. We'll see how much they can get out of it. Smart call, though, from CLG. And that is Ray's ultimate down. Now, Xpithy wants to go in and does not dodge the bombs. And it's actually gonna be special one to go in, but he should survive, gets the ulti off in time. Yes, he does. Now he's gotta kite around and be safe. There's a gravity field, and Smithy jumps over to the left-hand side, and back in they go. It's already Smithy dropping down. Ray's got the Garden Angel. He's totally fine. He pops the Zonies. He has no worries in the world. And now who he gets caught, though? He has to flash over the wall. Ray just in the back line. They picked off who he. Now that's the Garden Angel down. Keen has already blown his ulti, too. It's a two for nothing. Another assassination, and Six stays gone, and Apex looks like they're gonna do it, and they wanna make this a perfect week for them. Two victories 
series and best of threes to knock down energy, to knock down Counter Logic Gaming, beat two of the veterans in the LCS, and be up in that first place spot at the end of week one. Expecial pulled the trigger there, lands the combo time and time again, catches Hui on the re-engage, comes up huge for his team on the Alistar, and this is very likely going to be the game unless Afro Moon Darshan can pull off a miracle. I don't think it's gonna happen. Ray's gonna be brought back to life, full HP and mana uh, from the Zillion Alt. The minions are coming crashing in. But there's just no chance for Counter Logic Gaming. Apex fans can have pride in this group of Lions here who end the first week of the North American LCS with two victories, including beating the defending champion CLG. Not bad, they might have won all of North America, but Apex is proving that they can compete with the best. And as Expecial said yesterday, when I was talking to him, by the end of the split, we're gonna be a top team. Well, <laughs> may not have to wait that long. They've already taken down CLG, and they're gonna be sitting at the top of the standings. And top of the standings, top of the lineup there, Ray, that Fizz, was only 50 gold short of being the richest person in the game. Apex continues to prioritize him as one of their major players, and he has come through big as probably their biggest roster acquisition between the splits. They got him over from Edward.